What's up guys, Technic here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a bit different, but something that I am more excited about, that being NAS storage, which stands for, for those of you who don't already know, Network Attached Storage, and Synology have been kind enough to send me this the DS920 Plus. Now more about the DS920 Plus in a minute, but for now, I just wanna to touch base with you guys on my personal experience with storage. Now I've had loads of problems and issues and encounters, and I'm sure many of you other creators out there or people with large files and tons of data also experience issues with in every single day of your life. And that being the issue of external hard drives, getting data from one machine to another machine. I have a Windows PC, I have a MacBook, I have family members that are in the house and in the studio. And it's just, it's such a mission to get files to other people, not to mention storing files, because as a content creator such as myself, when I make a video, it can be up to two, 300 gigs of content, that being the raw video footage, as well as the final render, and you just don't know where to put it. And there's just so many complications with having all your data on your PC. What if something goes wrong with my computer or it gets fried? So this guy comes in and he is essentially a computer but all of the computer essential components have been stripped out and only what is needed for storage is in here. That being said, there's a lot more in here that meets the eye, such as CPU, motherboard, RAM, M.2 SSD drives, and of course the storage drives themselves. Just to give you guys a quick background of Synology before we get things going, Synology literally holds a 50% of the mature market share of NAS storage systems. And they have sold over 7 million units worldwide. None of this guy, of all of their products. They have so many products on their website. Do check the link in the description down below. And they have won over three awards in a row every year after year for being one of the best NAS storage providers out there. Synology is amazing. And what I'm gonna show you is even more amazing. I'm super excited to get this going and show you guys what this guy is capable of. And NAS has just made my everyday life easier for the past couple of months. And I can't wait to show you guys how it's gonna make your life easier too. This is Tech Nick and without further ado, let's go. So here is the Synology DS920 Plus, and it looks really nice and neat. I like how simplistic it is. We do have each hard drive over here. I'll show you guys that I do have a hard drive in place. There it is. So I have two eight terabyte hard drives, and these hard drives are actually sent straight from Synology themselves. There is the motherboard with the SATA ports there and your hard drives pop seamlessly straight into them. And speaking about the hard drives, you don't even need screws for the 3.5 inch hard drives. There's like a little bracket that pops off that has little pins in there. You slot your hard drive in, you put this back in and no screws are needed. There are screws included in the box if you do want to mount 2.5 drives. But yeah, they've done this really neatly and we have two fans at the back over there. There's a couple different profile modes for the fans, quiet mode, fast mode auto mode and we also have two ethernet ports so that you have a fail safe as well. This port at the bottom over here so that you can connect an extender so you can add an additional five bays getting a total of nine bays. We also have a USB port on the front and at the back over here so you can plug in two additional external hard drives to further extend this. So once you've got them all in here you can simply take the keys which come bundled in the box and you can lock it. So as you can see, this one is unlocked and this one is locked, which is nice and simple, easy to use. Great if you do have kids around or anyone that wants to tamper with your hard drives. And at the bottom over here, just before I forget, we do have two bays for M.2 SSDs. This is in order to hold your cache and cache is needed for something like this. Well, it's not necessarily needed, but it actually speeds up the processing of your data because it puts files that you use frequently or that you are currently using in temporary storage, that being within the M.2 SSD since they're so much faster than hard drives so that you can gain access and read and write a lot quicker to your NAS storage device. But that is pretty much it for the hardware side. And now it is time to get into the software side of things on the Synology DS920+. Plus. I'm gonna be doing things on my Windows PC because I've initially set everything up on my MacBook Pro. So it is currently searching 
and it has found one, I think. I'm gonna hit connect. So as you can see, I've already set it up and I've given it the name technic underscore NAS. And once we are in, we get to the, pretty much a PC. But of course, when you do first set it up, you are gonna wanna set things up in terms of hard drive volumes and pools. So at the top left corner over here, we have the main menu. And once you go into the main menu, you can see all the apps that you've currently downloaded from the package center, which is kind of like the Play Store, the App Store. If we go to Storage Manager, you can see our two hard drives over here. We have storage here it is i've set it up here now you can set things up a bit differently there are quite a few different options i set it up in jbod so that i can utilize the full capacity of both my hard drives now if you are someone that is worried about data loss you're going to want to set it up in raid and if it is in raid you'll have for example one eight terabyte hard drive since i have two eight terabyte hard drives and then your other eight terabyte hard drive the one will have all your storage on and the other one will be there for continuously backing up your data of the other one as a fail safe in case your main hard drive or even your backup hard drive fails, you do have an extra backed up copy. And I do have my SSD caches set up in RAID. So as you can see, it shows the cache side is 372.6 gigs, that being 400 gigs because of the SSDs that I'm using, though it should be twice that, so it should be 800 gigs, but we're only getting the capacity of one because they set up in RAID for faster SSD cache. So before we switch over to the Mac, it is worth showing you guys that if I go to my file station, you can have a look that I have a whole bunch of different things set up, but there is another way of doing this because obviously it is on the NAS storage system. So if we head over to our file manager in Windows and we go to network, we could see here it says other devices, but the one that you wanna look for is computer. So Technic NAS, once we open this up, we are probably gonna to have to put in our credentials. And now we're in, so we can go to Technic Studio. We can go straight here. So this is all within Windows. This has nothing to do with the software. So we can actually go ahead and close Chrome right now. We don't even need it. And then we can go into the drain test and we can open it up. Uh, let's find it here, there it is. And we can just watch it straight from there. So here it is and we don't need to download it at all. It's just straight on the server and you can stream to four different things at one time simultaneously, which is pretty awesome. And another cool thing about this being a creator is that <sighs> the issues I've had between Mac computers, Mac laptops, and my Windows PC is the fact that hard drives are formatted differently for Mac and differently for Windows, with certain exceptions of different file systems. With the NAS storage, it is compatible with pretty much any device you can think of. So I can just drop my Premiere Pro project on my Mac, from my Mac, onto the NAS storage device, and then open up the NAS on here, copy it over, or just open it straight off here if the hard drives will allow it. Obviously an SSD would be better. You could probably pop an SSD into one of the bays as well if you want to be able to edit straight off of your NAS and then save it and then go back to your Mac and continue working, which is just so amazing. So now, as you can see, we are on my MacBook Pro here and I have all my favorites on the left. And if you go down here to locations, you can see I've already set up and pinned to the side text Technic NAS. So if I just tap in that, I've already signed in and he has all the files and folders that we saw on my Windows machine. So back to Technic Studio, back to Battery Life Drain Test and go straight into it and look for it. There it is. And here we go. There it is. There is my battery life drain test video straight on here. Scrubbing is nice and smooth, super easy to access. So now that we're back here, we can go in and have a look at something called Hyper Backup. Now, if you go to Hyper Backup, you can see that you can back up all the storage files that you have within your NAS storage system and you can back it up to an external service. You can even use Dropbox, Google Drive if you prefer that. Like I mentioned, Synology have their own cloud storage, that being Synology C2 storage. And if you tap on that, you can actually choose different destinations. So you can choose where you want your data center to be. So there's Europe, North America, and Taiwan. So obviously whichever one you're closest to is gonna have the best speeds to that server where your data will be backed up. In case of your house literally getting set on fire and you lose all your data, at least it's backed up to the cloud. If you go with the advanced one though, you do have a couple extra benefits, which 
people that own a NAS storage system will most certainly take advantage of, which is pretty cool, but you really don't have to do this. What you can do is you can go to Package Sensor, you can search for something called Hyper Vault. If you and a buddy or you and someone else that you know also has a NAS storage system from Synology, you can take portion of one of their drives to back up frequently used data on your drive. You guys sync up together and then if your house goes down in flames, you know that your stuff is safely secured on his drive on his NAS system storage and vice versa because most people do use cloud storage and cloud storage is expensive. Have a look at Google Drive over here for a second. 20 terabytes cost you $100 a month. That's roughly $1,200 a year for an annual plan. You're getting 20 terabytes a month though. It doesn't add on top of that. You're always gonna have 20 terabytes. Now, if you get the same NAS storage system that I have, I have two eight terabyte drives. It's roughly 16 terabytes, but obviously you could increase that as well. You're gonna be looking at paying with the two hard drives, which you can buy through Synology or any hard drive brand of your choice with the NAS storage device, that being the DS920 plus, by the way, you can get cheaper ones with less bays or more bays, for example, with the two hard drives and the two 400 gig M.2 cache drives that I have, that's gonna to come to a total of $1,550 as opposed to $1,200 for an annual plan of 20 terabytes per month on Google Drive. So on Google Drive, you're gonna get that for a year and you're gonna to have to keep the monthly payments recurring. With this, you pay it off once and then you have it forever. Let's talk about privacy and security and permissions for a second. And if we head over to users and group, and if I head over to me, I can hit edit, I can go over to permissions and I can take a look at what data I can read and write. So I can't read and write any of their folders over here, but I am admin, so it would be cool to know what they're doing. And another thing that you can do is head over to external access, and then you'll get something called a quick connect ID. Now with this quick connect ID, it then gives you a DSM, it gives you an HTML link, which you can then jump onto anywhere in the world and access your NAS storage device from. And you can also, use your regular Quick Connect ID. In my situation here, it is Technic Studio, and you can download the drive onto your phone. So I'll be hopping into something called DS Finder over here. Obviously DS standing for DS920, so on and so forth. You can have a look at all the storage that you have, and there are a bunch of different options, but you can also jump in to your drive. So you have to download external applications which you can get on the Play Store or on the App Store if you're using an iPhone and when you hit install, it jumps straight into that store. I have them installed already. So hopping into Drive here, you can see that I can upload things. So I uploaded this thumbnail directly from my phone and it will go onto my drive as almost a backup from my phone. We can do backups which will touch on in a sec, but if we head over to files, you can see at the top right, it says team folders. Now, the reason why it shows only one folder here is because I've specifically shared this. So if we head back to my PC and we go back to home, you'll see that we have something here called Synology Drive Admin Console. And if we go over to team folder, then you can have a look that I've enabled Technic Studio. I can also go ahead and enable video, for example. So let's go here and hit enable. So we hit okay over here and now it has been enabled. So as you can see, it's already popped up over there with video and I have given myself access to being able to see all the available files and folders within it. I have uploaded just a three phone charge test here and then it says download, which is pretty cool. You can download it directly to your device. And then you can also hop into my Technic Studio folder over here and gain access to everything. And obviously if you make changes, it makes changes on your Mac or on your PC because everything is linked through your NAS storage system, which is fantastic. Now, another really cool thing about this is the fact that we do have another app called Photos. This is Synology Photos. So what I've done is I've taken all the photos that I usually back up to iCloud and it's free because you own the NAS storage and this is not a paid service at all. And you can hit on more. And as you can see, it shows that I am processing 1,595 items. It's pretty cool. It's nice and seamless. So it, it looks nice and neat. And I know that every time I get home, I've taken a couple of photos throughout the day. It's already on my NAS storage device. So the last few things I want to touch base on, one of the most amazing things is called CloudSync. So if we open up CloudSync over here, you can link 
another cloud service that you have. Now this is not, even if you just use the free Google Drive like I have, you just have 15 gigs of storage, you can link it to pretty much any cloud service of your choice that you already have or already own. And then you can have your Google Drive backed up to your NAS system or your NAS system backed up to your Google Drive, like I mentioned earlier, and you can have them talk to each other. So if you make any changes within the Google Drive that you have linked on your NAS system, it will automatically affect those files on your Google Drive. Now, one last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the fact that you can actually tap into it on your PlayStation, your Xbox, your TVs around the house, and you can stream up to four things simultaneously. So I have made my own media server, as you can see over here, for general browsing, and it automatically makes files, well, folders within your file station. So it automatically made something called video, photo, and music, which you can then gain access to through your media server on your network on any device. So if I go into video, I've added Technic videos here and I've put my three phone charge test here. So I can add any videos to this and then I can switch over to my TV over there. And if I head over to home and go to input, you can see there is something called Technic NAS. Now I'll hop into Technic NAS and it pops up with music, photo, and video. Hit onto video, go to Technic videos, and hit play on this, and you can watch it in real time. There we go, up to four devices simultaneously. So there you guys have it. The Synology DS920 Plus, an affordable network attached storage system. And I say affordable because if you look at cloud services and the reoccurring monthly charges, it is just through the roof insane. This is a once off price on a NAS storage system and it has changed my life for the past couple of weeks. I'm pretty sure it would change your life if you have a lot of files that you do store. If you're a content creator, videographer, photographer, so on and so forth, or you just wanna store all your movies on this guy and create your own media server. There are endless possibilities that you can do with a NAS storage system and I do believe that no one does it better than Synology. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching Watching this video as much as I did making it and as much as I'm going to be storing all my content on here for everyone in the house and in the studio to enjoy all the time. This is Tech Nick and I'll catch you in the next one.